Today we will review and give a reaction to an interesting video called Every Political Ideology Explained in 8 Minutes. One part in two minutes. Conservatism. Conservatism, as the name suggests, tries to conserve traditional values. In Western culture, conservatives Italy's usually promote the that. nuclear family, organized religion, the military, and property rights. Liberalism. Liberalism is usually cited as the dominant ideology in modern history. It usually likes that every single individual has his own rights, that the government has to be approved by its own people, and that everyone should be treated the same way before the law. It also likes free markets, elections between multiple I'm political parties, a, a separation of powers into different branches of the government, a separation of religion from the government, a set of fundamental values written in the Constitution, privacy rights, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly, and freedom of religion. Moderatism. Moderatism likes to stay within what is called the overton window, which is the range of policies politically acceptable to the mainstream population. In most cases, moderates are apolitical, which means that they don't care, but they have a little bit of knowledge about politics. Capitalism. Capitalism is an economic system based on the private ownership of the means of production and their operation for profit. The central characteristics of capitalism are private property, free exchange, competition, division of labor, and social cooperation. Socialism. There are many types of socialism, making this an umbrella like this term. In the classical sense, socialism describes worker-owned means of production, heavily supporting worker coups, democratic self-management, and workplace democracy. Socialism in the modern age advocates workers' democratic self-management, high taxation on the wealthy, and nationalization of key parts of industry. One of its key Very values cool. is social ownership. Syndicalism. Syndicalism is the son of socialism, and it believes that unionization of the workforce, the establishment of local, decentralized revolutionary worker organizations called syndicates, and advancement of workers' that? demands through the use of strikes and direct action are the best methods by which a socialist society should be achieved. Once a post-capitalist society is achieved, a congress or commune of syndicates would be created to represent the many unions or areas of the economy for a central government. Corporatism. Corporatism advocates the organization of, of society in different areas of employment, like agriculture, military, engineering, etc., which people get assigned to based on their interests and skills. It believes in a cross-class system of regulation in which the workers, employers, and state negotiate Crazy. with one another in order to most efficiently run the economy and satisfy, in theory, all parties involved. It does not refer to a political system dominated by large business interests. That would be a corporatocracy. Very funny. Libertarianism. Libertarianism upholds liberty as a core value, and it seeks to maximize autonomy and political freedom. It like likes a very one. limited government. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like please. I suggest you watch more of my videos. Go quickly.